Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a few weekly wows that I thought I would share with you. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is from Bobby Brown, and this is the vitamin rich, um, vitamin enriched face base. And it is technically a moisturizer, but how I have been using it for the last probably month is I've been using it as a primer and so after I've done all of my skincare and then I sit down and I put on my sunscreen and then I let my sunscreen set for probably a good five minutes and kind of let that kind of sink into the skin and then I will do my eyeshadow because I like to do my eyes first and then I will do my face as far as foundation goes so then I will go in with this and then I just use probably a, like a dollop size, meaning probably a quarter size. And we'll just go in and put it all over the face. And it just really kind of helps to hydrate and just really plump up the skin, which I like because it kind of helps plump up the wrinkles. And um, with this time of year, I really need that little extra hydration. And um, I don't know if it really helps to make the foundation stay on longer. I don't think that that's what it's intended to do, but I just like it for the um, plumping properties that it does. It does have some vitamin C in it. Um, it has a little bit of grapefruit in it. It has um, some vitamin B, I do believe is what it said it has in it. Um, it just has some different um, vitamins that's good for the skin. It has um, some antioxidant properties in it. So it helps to protect the skin from the environment and so that is what I've been using here lately as my primer. So have been enjoying that. Um, you can definitely smell the, um, the citrus in it. So if you're not a citrus person, <laughs> you may not like this. So you might want to give it a sniff before you try it. So next time you're in Sephora, if it's something that you would be interested in trying, have them make you up a sample of it and give it a try that way. Um, I don't know if you have oily skin, if you would like this because it is very hydrating, but I have been definitely been enjoying it. Um, I've used it underneath a lot of different foundations. My CC cream, my Giorgio Armani, um, what is the other one that I've been using? A Physician's Formula one. Um, there's another one, but I can't think of the name of it offhand, but they, it seems to work underneath all of those. So I haven't had any problems with it not working underneath different um, foundations. So I've been definitely been enjoying using this little guy. And then another favorite that I've been enjoying is this little guy here from Pat McGrath. This was in a recent haul. Um, I think I ordered it during the Sephora VIB Rouge event, and it's just one of the little minis. I hadn't had a Pat McGrath um, anything really, and I wanted to try her lipstick. I have it on, and this was one of the little minis. I'm going to put my glasses on to see if I can tell you exactly what it what collection or what one it is. Oh, um, maybe not. Hmm, I can't see it. Maybe if I put the magnifying glass on with it. Oh, I think my little grandson's got my batteries about wore down. He likes playing with this. It's called Elson Lipstick. Yeah, Elson. E-L-S-O-N. But anyway, it was one that she came out with during the holidays, during Christmas. I don't know if it's still available, but it is so pretty. It's, to me, it's like a semi-matte. Um, I think it's um, marketed as a matte, but to me it's a semi-matte because it's not as drying as a true matte. I like the shape of it because it has a nice pointed edge so it's really easy to kind of get the shape of your lip and it goes on very nice um, it's kind of hydrating i think for being a matte i really like the color now by no means is it a long lasting so whenever you eat or drink it's definitely going to um, 
um, come off. I don't know if you can really tell on my bottle of water here. I think I'm only taking like one sip, but um, it definitely does come off. So it's not long lasting, but I really, really like the formula of it so far. I like the color of it and the little packaging of it is just really, really cute. Um, so, and I've used quite a bit of it for being um, a mini and for not having it, not even a month yet. I have, I really like to use it. I keep it there on my vanity and there's been a lot of mornings I have started off my makeup look with this little guy. So I have been really enjoying it. It's a really pretty color. I think it's a really pretty color. And I think a lot of people could probably um, wear this color. It's very wearable. The next one that I want to talk about is another product that I ordered during the Sephora VIB sale. And it was the Milk... Um, Kush Mascara, and I just ordered it in the little travel size. I heard a lot of people talk about how this little guy was just as good as the big size and that it lasts a long time. And I really, really do like this mascara. It is really good for building volume. So if you like a volume building mascara, you will really like this. Plus this little I mean, I keep saying little guy. I gotta quit saying that. This is very weighted. Um, I mean, you could probably put this in your hand and if you needed to hit somebody, you got some weight to go back. So if you got an intruder and you have this in your hand, you, you've got a weapon. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you don't have an intruder. <laughs> anyway, but here's the wand and this is the type of wand that I really like. I like these little, um, natural bristle type ones, the old school ones before, you know, everybody started coming out with the little wonky ones, you know, the little spiked ones and the plastic ones. I like, I like these natural bristle ones. So I really like the wand. It's very heavy. So I feel like it with it being kind of heavy like this, you've got a little bit more control of the wand and you can really kind of get in there and really work the, um, the lashes. Now I only use this on my upper lashes. I don't do the bottom lashes with this, but I really like this. And so far I really worth the money. I think, what was it like $12? Was it 12 or was it 16? It might've been somewhere in between there, but we definitely um, would purchase this again. Um, unfortunately, I've got several mascaras I've got to get through before I can purchase anything, but I don't see this, um, running out anytime soon so that's a good thing i think it will last me a couple more months so i don't have to worry about it ending but when it does end i really got to get through i probably have like 10 mascaras maybe even 15 that i've got to i've got to use those that is my goal this year is to really it's going to be like a project use up for 2019 i have got to get through some of this stuff and just, I need to quit buying and just kind of buckle down and use what I have. So anyway, okay, so another product that I um, just recently acquired, but it's definitely um, quickly becoming a favorite, and it's this person, <laughs> I started to say this little guy right here. <laughs> I gotta quit saying that. Don't you hate that when these little, these phrases get in your head and you can't quit saying that. I was watching someone the other day and, um, this person kept saying, in my opinion, in my opinion, I was like, quit saying in my opinion. And then I started watching someone else. I'll be daggum if they were saying that, uh, saying that also. But anyway, so this Morphe palette, I just hauled this from Sephora not too long ago. Um, was it my last haul? It might've been my last haul. Possibly, but anyway, don't matter. It's the 35 M palette, um, artistry palette. Uh, it might have been called something else. Does it say something else on here? Yes, the Boss Mood Palette. But anyway, I love this palette. I did create my eye look with it. Oh, and I can't get it open. There it goes. And this is what it looks like right here. I forget the price of this. What was it? Was it $20, $25? I know it wasn't no more than $30. I mean, they're very, very reasonable. They sell them at... Ulta. 
So you can definitely go into your Ulta store and swatch these and just really look at them and play with them. But of course, what got me was this little section right here. And of course, this is what I pretty much created my eye look. Um, I use this color here as my um, uh, the little um, glitter color, I guess. And then this is in the crease, this is in the crease, and this is in the, the outer edge there to create the, the darker color. But I absolutely love this palette. I mean, you've got, you've got so many colors to play with. There's a lot of um, transition colors. You've got some cool colors. You've got some warm colors. You've just got a lot of colors, and they're really good. Now, the way that these work is you do have to kind of build them up, which is good because you're not going to just go in and they're going to be so pigmented that you're going to have problems with, um, how do I want to word it? You're just not going to have a blop of color and then you're going to spend so much time trying to get it blended out. You're going to have to build a little bit and build a little bit and build a little bit, which is good because then you can really create your eye look and build your eye look, which is good. And um, so yeah, that's how I created this look. And I finally had to kind of put it away so I would quit using it so I could pull out some other stuff. But man, this is just, it is, I really do like it. I really, really wish, I wish for 2019, I guess there was a video going around, you know, what would you like to see in the makeup world to go away in 2019 and what would you like to see happen in 2019? I would really like to see to go away in 2019 for the makeup industry to kind of get away from doing all these collabs with these YouTubers. I'm sorry, but, and I know there's some YouTubers out there that are, that are really nice and really good and don't have a lot of drama and everything, but I just wish they would just get away from doing collabs with all these YouTubers and quit creating all of this stupid drama because, and I'll talk about that here in a little bit. I'm just going to kind of swatch some of these colors here. But they're just so pretty and they just work so pretty on the eyes and everything and you can't go wrong with the price you can't go wrong with the quality and they're just really pretty right, the next one that i want to talk about is also from morphe and this one was sent to me but this one i purchased on my own let me get this one frame so both of these are um, blush palettes now this one was sent to me and it looks like this one here it's the one that has all the little peachy shades in it and you can get this at ulta this is the color here that i have on as blush and it is called what is that called i can't see it mua I don't, and i don't know if this is something to do with that person that I don't like to support but anyway um, wonderful pigmentation just beautiful colors you can't beat the price this palette here runs around $18 and gosh you get what eight eight shades in here I mean oh, they're just so pretty I think I just double swatched over those but Again, the quality is really good. It's drugstore pricing. You can use your coupons on these at Ulta. Um, you can get user points. And here's the one that I purchased. This one has all the berry shades in it. I mean, that's really pretty too. So there's those. So again, if you've been thinking about getting you know, one of these blush palettes from Morphe and you're just not for sure about the quality because of some of the drama that's been going on with Morphe with some of these um, collaboration palettes. Um, my suggestion would be to stay away from the cal cal um, collaboration palettes and just stick with their everyday palettes that they have and don't do any of the um, collaborations. So during that haul, I want to talk about, and I don't normally do when I do my weekly wows in any kind of video, I don't really kind of touch on things that I don't like, unless it's in my empties. But um, these are never going to show up in my empties because I'm never going to finish them <laughs> because I don't like them. 
anyway in one this haul when I showed um, da, 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 this Morphe blush palette was in that haul and the eyeshadow palette that I just showed was in that haul and I'll put an eye card up here somewhere that has that haul anyway I had talked about how I had purchased um, these two palettes from um, Jaclyn Hill and how I don't normally purchase anything that is a collaboration with Jaclyn Hill because I don't normally support her there's and there's it's not just her there's several of youtubers and not necessarily youtubers but there's several people like the Kardashians Jeffree Star and I can name quite a few that I don't support and I have my reasons I am entitled to as a consumer to put my money where and where where I want to and where I don't want to anyway I kept looking at these and thinking how pretty they were and I um didn't purchase them for quite some time not when they first came out but then I I don't know I just decided I'm going to go ahead and do it I'm going to purchase them because I like the way they look I know they're, they're Jaclyn Hill but I'm going to do it anyway well I really 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 wish that I would have stuck with my my rule of not supporting her <laughs> because and I really wish and this is why I really wish that Morphe would quit doing the collaborations because I think and this is a good example because you know they have really good shadows you know this is a really good sh eyeshadow palette they have good qual quality eyeshadows but then you come to something like this and the mattes in this shadow eyeshadow palette, and it's not just this one, but it's this one also, are so bad. And I don't, I don't understand it. I've never come across, I've heard people talk about, you know, having an eyeshadow palette that the mattes are, are really bad. And I'm just thinking, you know, surely not. Surely not. And I even talked about, I even touched on when I hauled these, you know, that I had read reviews about how people talked about how how the the shadows were were not good i'm thought well surely not you know they're it's morphe you know how can it be that they're that bad you know they're morphe you know morphe makes good eyeshadows but i'm telling you the eyeshadows in these when you put them on they're good but when you go to try and blend them out or to mesh them with the other colors they are they are not good and I hate to sit here and tell you that but I don't want you to go and say well Janie got those so I want to go and get one too because I don't want you to waste your money yes they're only $15 and I use my points on them and I I really wish that I didn't now the um the little um glimmer I can't even I can't even think what they're called now the um, shimmer shades are, are, are nice. They are. And I have been using those in with some of the other palettes that I have. And they're not bad. And I think the reason why I can get by with using them is that I'm just pressing them on. And I'm not having to try and move them around. But these, um, these matte shadows in here... Mm -mm. No, I, I, and I don't understand. I, I don't. I don't understand why they're like that. And you can see I've tried, and it never fails. Every time I've tried to use these, I have to go in and take everything off and just get another shadow, another eye shadow palette. I usually pull this one, get this one back out. And just completely start over because when I go to start to try and blend them out they blend out to where there's nothing but I, and I can't even explain how they blend out and I, I need to do like a demo of it but when you go to blend them out and I, I don't even know if they and see when they when you do it on your hand they don't look bad blended out but when you go to blend them out you could maybe see here on my hand they leave 
see first of all you can kind of see it's kind of muddy but then they leave just a like a really dark line on your eyelid and you can't get that really dark line blended out to save your life I mean you try and you try and try and try to get that one little spot blended out and you just end up with a really dark <laughs> line right there and then you try to put you know color over it and think well let me darken that up and you try it again and I don't know and I've tried I've tried several 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 times I'm going to do this video and I'm going to probably try again <laughs> because I really want to like them I really do there's a purple one that I really like and I thought I want to get the purple one but then I'm like Janie no no don't do it I really liked this green out of this one a lot of people talked about this green <laughs> and how bad it was I'm like no it can't be bad I like this green I want this green to work but I can't even get it to work and I'm not I'm not good at makeup I will admit that I mean I've seen how I've done makeup I'm not good at makeup <sighs> So, and I think that's probably why it's so frustrating for me because I'm not good at makeup. I don't have time to sit here and try to make something, you know, work. So you can see it's just, it's just not working. So anyway, I don't, I don't recommend them. So if you buy them, buy them with caution is all I can say. Just buy them with caution. If I could take them back, I would, but since I use my points, I don't think I can, and um, so I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to keep them and keep them in my drawer as a lesson learned to not sway on the rules that I have set, <laughs> you know. So, but anyway, but this one, this one's good. I like this one. I just wiped it off with the makeup wipe. So, I do. I like this one. I like this one a lot. And um, I want to get some more Morphe eyeshadow palettes, but I don't need any right now. I have so many eyeshadow palettes, it's not even funny. I want to swatch this one green out of this one and see how it... looks and see it kind of it blends the same way as those do see see it blends the same way as those other ones do on my hand so now I'm thinking well maybe I'm just crazy but I swear every time I would try and use those when it would blend when I would try and blend it it just mm. see that's that one but try and do it on your eyes though it's just so much different anyway I didn't like them I didn't like the way they performed the mattes in those the glitters were fine I felt like um, as long as I was able to just use my finger and just press them on I felt like they were fine but as far as the mattes putting them on they were fine but when I would try to start you know to blend them and would have to try to move them around to blend them then that's when they really started not to perform for me so anyway so that is it for this week I hope that you enjoyed and I will talk to you soon